Chimpex5 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clicker game in Python. So let's get started. As you can see, I have two folders. One is the assets folder and one is the SRC folder. So let's see what assets folder has. So the assets folder basically has all the images. So let's see. One is the coin.png, the coin which we will keep clicking, right? Then we have icon.ico file. This is basically the icon of basically the window, right? And it's a bit pixely, but it looks small in the window, so it's no problem. Then we can go to shop.png because our game is going to have a shop. And then if there's shop, then there's upgrades. So we have upgrade 1, upgrade 2, and upgrade 3. That looks nice. And let's see what the source folder is, right? Or the SRC. So it's basically empty right now. But uh, this is basically where you keep all your coding files. So let's right click on the file. And of course, we're going to need a main.py and we're going to need an app class.py and we're going to need another file called the settings.py. Okay, so in main.py, we're going to import from the app class. So from app underscore class, import everything, so the start. And then we're going to do if name is equal to name. type it properly Again, and then we're going to create a variable called app and it's going to be an instance of this app class we're going to define right and it's going to have a run function a run function. that is all for this file we, we are not going to make any changes in this file so now let's oh, of course we're making a game so we are going to import pygame pygame is a library and if you don't have it then you can just open the terminal right and it might take some time to open but it's fine by the time we can go into settings and we can do width. width this will be basically the width of the window and I'll set it to 480 and the height is we can set it to basically like 360 because these values work nicely on my screen and our terminal has opened up so let's do pip install and pygame so this is installed for me but you can go ahead and install it and it won't it won't take a lot of time to install it then you saw quickly and then you can just exit the terminal so these are this is the width and the height it works good on my computer because my computer is small but you can use different values try out different values and yeah i'll recommend you to try out different values then we can we can import all the settings right so from settings import all and then we'll tap this inside app class the py now we have to make this class right we of course have to then if you are writing a class then you have to write the constructor the definite self and then we are going to create some variables before that we are going to do pygame.init because we are importing pygame so we have to initialize it as well now we can make some variables self.screen this is going to be the actual window that opens up so we are going to do pygame display and then dot set underscore mode and in this we can pass in a tuple of width and height this is basically the variables we defined in this file over here as you can see it points to 480 which is the width and the height is 360 as we set it over here and that's really cool then let's make another variable called self.running and we set it to true so basically what this variable does is um, it basically checks if the game is running or if the game is basically stopped or lost or, if the, or if basically decides when the window has to close so let's make another function called run otherwise this main.py will give an error because we are using a run function here so let's go to the colon and while the game is running so start that running then we can check for all the events so we can't just type pass here so let's do for event and by name dot event dot get so basically what this does is it returns a, an array or a list of all the events happening in the given frame so let's just check if the event the type is equal to by name the quit so basically this line right here is returned true when we click on this button of the window so let's just do self running is equal to false and set it to false so that basically this loop stops running and the window closes right and of course, we're going to type like in this uh, self running while the game is running. We're going to do by game, to display, and then dot update. Basically, what this does is 
it updates the display and you can see all the changes that you have made otherwise you won't be able to see the changes right so let's go to the new ui and let's run it now it might take some time because my computer is slow as you can see it it takes some time but let's see so basically what this does now five minutes run and the window has opened up so as you can see the window opens and we can close it right we can close it that's really cool so that's all for this video thanks for watching